All right, you guys, today I'm doing a review and flip through of Apologia Math 3. We used their Math 2 last year and absolutely loved it. So we are continuing our, our math journey with Apologia and I cannot wait for this year. I'm gonna go ahead and flip around the camera and give you guys a look inside. All right, you guys, so this is the student and teacher guide for Apologia Math 3. I'm gonna go through the student guide first and then I'll do a little bit of a flip through through the teacher guide just so you can get familiarized with it. Now, uh, at the time of filming, this set is $60.75 and I will have it linked down below in case you'd like to check it out. As you open it up, you get your table of contents that breaks down what lessons you'll do and what pages you can find them just like a basic table of contents. And then you'll get an introduction to the math curriculum as well as um, just some additional information. And then it tells you that you can go to their course website and you can print some book extras. Uh, it has a password, so I'm just gonna keep that covered because I forgot to cover it with a post-it. Uh, and then it jumps directly into the units. So basically on the introduction page, um, you'll go over what the different icons mean that you're going to see throughout the curriculum, as well as the online code, like I mentioned, it has additional resources that you can go and print out. It has practice sheets, some additional game boards, activity expansions, and things like that. So overall, this is a math curriculum designed with a biblical worldview. And what I really love is that you'll find scripture throughout the book, all tying math back to God's word. There are 100 lessons in this book spread out over the course of seven units. And at the end of each unit, there is a review or project that your child will work on to recap all that they learned and sometimes both a review and a project. So it really just depends on the chapter. Uh, at the beginning of each lesson, there is a skills practice for your child that takes about five to 10 minutes. And all of these focus on memorizing their math facts through games, note card facts, worksheets, and activities. Uh, all of the math facts that your child is gonna be covered is you'll find in the teacher's guide. So it's nothing that you need to necessarily put together and you know work long hard hours on or anything like that it's already done for you you can find it in the teacher's guide uh, overall this curriculum is designed to be done four days a week over the course of about 28 weeks and each lesson will take about 30 to 45 minutes to complete uh, I really love that type of schedule just in case you have a co-op or you want to have a fun Friday or you know you just don't want to have the standard school week uh, I know some people sometimes have problems with, you know, curriculums that are only 28 weeks long, but I have found a true love for curriculums that are that long because I feel like, you know, between life and just school breaks and, you know, anything that comes up, it's really nice to not have the strict schedule of a 36 week curriculum. But, you know, that's going to just depend on, I guess, the, the person. <laughs> So for those of you who might be new to Apologia, this is a curriculum that is created with ease of use in mind. So many of the extra items that you'll need for some of the activities or even the projects are common household items. But there will be a few things that you'll need to purchase which are linking cubes, base 10 blocks, a set of 3D shapes and pattern blocks. And I'll post that on the side of the screen probably like somewhere right here, <laughs> so that you can screenshot it. And I'll also try to have some of those items linked down below just for, you know, ease <laughs> and convenience when you are, you know, trying to plan out your homeschool year. Uh, so let's go over all that your child will cover with this curriculum. Chapter one starts with numbers to 100 and covers place value as well as rounding, and then they move on to adding and subtracting numbers within 1,000 as well as estimating. And then in chapter three, they multiplication gets introduced. So here they will learn equal groups, skip counting, the concept of multiplying by one and zero, and then multiplying factors up to the number four will follow. In chapter five, division is introduced, followed by division facts up to the number four. 
In chapter seven, they will go over data and measurement and will work with picture graphs, bar graphs, and line graphs, as well as weight, volume, and time intervals. Chapters eight and nine, they will continue to expand their multiplication and division skills by working on facts up to the number nine. And then chapters 10 and 11, they will be introduced to fractions and some word problems. Chapter 12, they will cover perimeters and areas. And in chapter 13, they will end their journey in math three by covering polygons. I'm gonna finish flipping through the book and then I'll give you guys uh, a look at you know what a lesson will look like so you can have a good idea and then I will go throughout the teacher guide with you. Alright, so this is like literally smack dab in the middle of the book. This is where uh, your child would have already been introduced to multiplication and so we'll just go over what this lesson would look like and then I'll show you guys the teacher's guide. So for this lesson, their warm up is going to be uh, working on their flashcards for the twos, threes, fours, fives, and tens multiplication facts. They're going to spend about five to ten minutes flipping through their flashcards to make sure that the facts are fresh in their memory. It's going to be helpful for their lesson today. And then uh, next, they will get their lesson 55 times table that's in the back of the answer key. And uh, this is what the page looks like. Okay, so their actual lesson, it says multiply by six. In chapter eight, you are going to learn the rest of the multiplication facts that you need to memorize. Once you have all these facts memorized, you will be prepared to multiply any two numbers. In this lesson, we will be practicing the six facts. You already know half of them because multiplication is commutative. Changing the order of the facts doesn't change the product. So example, find the product six times five. You already memorized your five facts. So five times six equals 30. So six times five equals 30. For the facts that you haven't learned yet, you can use your times table to find the answer. So this is where they're going to pull out that sheet. So they will do six times eight, find you know where it meets in the middle, and then they have their answer. And then um, for this lesson, you can look up the facts you haven't already learned on your times table. As you practice, you will start to memorize them and you will need your times table less and less. Then you can use the times table just to check your answers. It will continue onto the next page where they will do some math fact practice. And then it ends with every table at a restaurant can seat six people. The restaurant has seven tables. How many total people can they seat? It says keep your times table inside the back cover of your book. You will use it again tomorrow. So one thing that I plan on doing with that table is laminating it because, you know, you kids are rough on papers, you guys. So laminate where you can. That's my tip for for this. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to give you guys a look inside the teacher's guide. Okay, so here is the teacher's guide. And as you open it up, you'll get your table of contents as well as a week by week daily schedule. This is where you'll find, you know, what lessons you're doing on which day. And it will also give you um, just like a little notice on if your child has a review and a project, which is really nice. Then you jump into the teaching guide instruction. This is basically just information on how to use the course and more information on the course overall. And then you get your daily skills practice. This is an overview showing you a quick glance at what skills your child will master this year. And it's nice because the beginning of the skills practice overlaps with what they would have covered last year. So it's a smooth transition. It's nothing that they're just thrown into the deep end on. 
Uh, next, it jumps into the units. So you get this supply list so you know exactly what to have on hand for the upcoming lessons for the unit that you're in. And then this is followed by the skills practice for each lesson. So that 10 to 15 minute skills practice that I talked about doing uh, at the start of each lesson or you can even do it at the end of each lesson. Uh, this is where you'll find the information for each one. So this is where you'll get whatever game or activity that you're doing as well as some ideas of additional things that you can do with your child to solidify their their math facts knowledge. And then if you continue flipping through you'll get your answer key. So you know, for instance, page 15, here are the answers. And then if you continue going until you get to about the middle of the book, that is where you will find all of the activity sheets for each of your lessons. And they're all labeled what lesson they go with. So it would be pretty hard to confuse uh, what you need to use. And then there's also the activity sheets for some of the projects that you're going to be working on. And then at the very back of the book, you get a complete supply list. So that's really nice to have on hand if you want to go and purchase everything over the summer and just have it, you know, already purchased and put away and just pull from throughout the year. I like that they have that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, that's it for the review. I'm going to go ahead and flip around the camera now. All right, you guys, that is the end of the review and flip through. I hope that you enjoyed seeing inside. I hope that it helps to see if this is the right curriculum to work into your homeschool. Uh, if you have used Apologia Math before, let me know down below or if you are just here checking out to see if this would be the right fit for your family. I can say we used it last year alongside Masterbooks Math Level 2 and both of those worked beautifully together. Um, my daughter just seems to need the extra reinforcement. And so I, that's what we're going to be doing again this year. We're going to be using Apologia alongside Master Books. Maybe I'll have a video come out comparing both of them doing like side by side reviews. Uh, we'll see. If you guys think that that would be helpful, let me know. Um, I'll just kind of combine my flip throughs and then you guys can see if you think that this would... That would be helpful. We have really loved Apologia Math. It's very gentle, but very, it reinforces very well. Uh, she liked a lot of the games and different activities, and I love that it has a multi sensory approach. It's not just, here's math facts you know, go live your life and be somebody <laughs> like, no, there's games and activities and they make math come alive and it's fun. And we have genuinely loved using their math curriculum. I don't see us using a different one for the rest of elementary. I really wish that they would come out with a math seven and eight and, you know, for my bigger kid because he loved their math six. So that is everything. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and I will see you again later. Bye.